How did your relationship with Tommy Robinson start? Oh, I was always an admirer. I always had liked, because, you know, we because we all have these different roles to play, you have this role where it's really important. You keep this ground that you've got, you know, this is your... I don't mean other people can't come on it. I mean, you don't let them take it from you. You keep this turf. You stay in front of the goal. And Tommy was operating in another field, you know, on the streets, the Luton lad, the I won't be crushed either. That, you know, and I, I so loved that. And he just was relentless in the fight to speak the truth and stand outside the court. And even when we knew he'd go down and do time inside, even though no one had ever done time inside for contempt before. That day when we walked in, this is where ordinary people just come into their own, walking him to prison, court, but prison, the wall of noise that day, it still makes my, ugh, makes all of the hair on all of my body stand on end, or not that there's that much hair on my body, just so you don't get the wrong image. Um, but it was, you know, it was Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Robinson. And it was like, there was something really euphoric about ordinary people going, we're, we're still with you. Um, but yeah, I, I, Tommy, can, Tommy sometimes criticises, I know, because he feels that he gets left uh, to fall by some of his own side, me included. Um, and I understand that as well. Mm -hmm. He would like me to have all of his content on my channel all the time. And I, I totally get that.